there's a sociologist um, uh, from the U.S. from the 70s named Earl Rabin. He 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 de he defined the categories a little different. He says there, there's folk anti-Semitism, and there's social anti-Semitism, and then there's political anti-Semitism. And right. those three categories are very different. So a folk anti-Semitism is just people that hold negative stereotypes about Jews. They might hold negative stereotypes about blacks. Right. And, it could be anyone. Right. But 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 if you said to them, if you said to the folk anti-Semite, oh, would, do you think that Jews shouldn't be allowed to do X, Y, or Z? Like they would say, no, of course not. I mean, this is America. Everyone has to be treated equally. But uh, there's a certain kind of just, you know, um, certain kinds of attitudes and stereotypes and bigotry that people have about other people, but they don't think that it should be translated into some kind of political realm, like Jews shouldn't be allowed in universities or should, Jews shouldn't be allowed to do that. And basically said that's, that doesn't constitute anti-Semitism as a problem. Like, um, it, only, it only becomes a problem when it enters into the sphere of the political. <laughs> I, think that, I think that's a, a good entry point be, because the, the term itself has become so ubiquitous at this point and so uh, overwrought and so, I don't know what the word would, would mean. I mean, there's, the, there's, a, there's an entire industry that's developed of, that's you know, called by some scholars as the anti-anti-Semitism industry. Um, and the problem, one of the problems with the anti-anti-Semitism industry is that it doesn't really make a lot of distinctions. So, as you said... Does it provide any solutions? You know, um, uh, that's a good question. Because like uh, the anti-cancer industry, for example, sorry for cutting you off. Yeah, yeah. If there's no cancer, all those guys are out of business. It's a huge business. Right.